What's going on guys? Uh, my Tackle Box Part 8 is going to be on Terminal Tackle, Sunglasses and Scales. Uh, the sunglasses I use are Solar Bat Double XLs, uh, two shades. This is Mossback. It's a green lens, really good for dirty water. It highlights any green in the water. I also use a low vis yellow, which is good for uh, low light conditions, early morning, cloudy days. Uh, scales. I use a Berkeley Digital Scale. And then, of course, I use my uh, Bogo Grips. This is a 30 pound model. I always keep a box of uh, spinner bay blades handy in the boat, different colors, styles. Box of treble hooks. Pretty much all I use anymore is the KVD short chain trebles. I have some of the old triple grips, the red ones. They're okay, but they break pretty easy. Uh, I got some Gamagatsus in there, but mostly all I use is the uh, short chain trebles. I just got packs of these things laying around everywhere. I mean, great hooks. Um, I'll give you kind of like a once over of all the boxes here, and then I'll just tell you what's in them. This is just a wacky rig box. Not too much in there. Um, some Gamagatsu. Uh, wacky hooks, um, owner size one and one knot. And as far as weighted hooks, the only ones I've ever used um, are the Zapu itchy wacky hooks. Uh, great hooks. I've never seen a reason to change. Um, they've always worked for me. Got them in a few sizes: uh, three thirty second, eighth, and three sixteenths. drop shot and I do a little more so I've got a little more of that stuff um, as far as weights these are all tungsten uh, river to sea and I got both the uh, cylinder style and the teardrop uh, eighth that's your eighth quarter and I got uh, three eighths in those I got the uh, Gamagatsu size 2 here. I got size 1. I got Trokar size 1, 1 knot. I got some Owner size 1 knot. And these are the swivel shots, the new Gamagatsu ones. Uh, as far as hooks go, I'm not going to take all these out of here. I mean, Pretty much any hook you can imagine is in this box. Um, the four brands that I like are uh, Owner, Trokar, Mustad, and Gamagatsu. Like I said, I've got pretty much every style in here. I like to buy Terminal Tackle just as much as soft plastics. I mean, I feel the right hook um, you know, means a lot. I also have some of the uh, centering pins in here, some hitchhikers, you know, good for swim baits, stuff like that. But like I said, all, all styles and brands of hooks in here. Okay, this is pretty much everything else. Uh, take a quick look here. Got all my tungsten weights up top. Um, some tube weights, some miscellaneous weights, speed clips, parasite clips, um, nail weights, some rattles, some Carolina rigging stuff, swivels, uh, a bunch of split rings. The uh, boomerang snip, bait buttons. I got my uh, what are those things called? I uh, think the Eco Pro diamond pegs. Got those in here. So uh, like I said, I got a good, good variety of stuff here. All these weights. These are all tungsten weights. Like I said, these are all uh, true tungsten, um, Strike King, and Eco Pro. I can take any of this stuff out. You guys get the idea. Uh, as far as sizes go, I got 16th and an eighth tungsten weights. Um, like 16th, yeah, eighth, three sixteenths, uh, quarter and five sixteenths, three eighths, half, and three quarter and one ounce. That's all that stuff.
This is pretty much all my shaky head stuff. I'll go ahead and tell you what uh, ones I got in here. Up top, we got. Uh, I'm gonna put it down. Just take a few out. Up top, I got three different sizes uh, of the Gamagatsu. These are pretty good. Uh, my favorite, without a doubt, are the Owner Ultra Heads. I got uh, four different sizes here. This is the Bite Me Shaky Head. These are really good. Uh, a few different sizes of the KVD. Like uh, Shaky Head's got to be my favorite finesse technique. Um, I got four sizes of the. These are the Buckeye. These are good for like a like a mud bottom. They really stand up nice. Uh, striking the football shaky heads, and I also got some of the uh, dirty jig shaky heads. So that's all of those. This is pretty much all uh, swim bait heads, scrounger heads, tube heads, not standard jig heads, uh, some shroom heads. These are really nice for uh, grubs. I keep fish sticks in here. Give you a once over. And uh, these are the J. Will swim bait heads. Got these in a couple colors. Eighth ounce is all I use. Um, scrounger heads, like five different sizes. Um, let's see here. Tube jig heads, I got them rattling and non rattling. I think these are just Bass Pro brand here. And uh, I'll take that back. These are Bite Me brands. The Mark Zona Bite Me brand, rattling, non rattling, and then these are Bass Pro jig heads. It's a standard jig head and uh, good for grubs, stuff like that. But they got Gamagatsu hooks, really nice. And these gophers are good for grubs as well. Got an awesome bait keeper on them. Like I said, I got the fish sticks I keep in here. So. And this will be all my football head stuff. Uh, all the bottom here is all uh, chopper football heads, pretty much all I use. Um, that's what I started using, chopper football heads, and I've never had a problem with them, so I just stayed with them. I just keep a lot of extra heads, and I make them up on the water, um, you know, putting skirts on or whatnot. Um, I don't always like weed guards. Um, usually I pull them out if I don't want them, but then I found the River to Sea heads that don't have weed guards on them, so I've been buying those. Um, I got some of the uh, Jean LaRue wobble heads. Got owner hooks on them. I always keep a scent in here. Mega Strike. I'll take a few of these out so you guys can see them. Uh, so the wobble heads. I got these in four different sizes. Uh, choppers, I got them in a quarter, three eighths, half, five eighths, and three quarter. Um, it's a really nice jig head. And they're powder coated so they don't chip easy. That's one reason I like them. Weed guards are nice and soft. It's got a wide gap hook. It's a must add. And uh, like I said, I've never had a problem with these hooks, so I've always stuck with them. So, like I said, in the uh, River to Sea, awesome paint jobs. It's like a matte finish. And like I said, I love that they don't have weed guards. And uh, nice bait keepers, good stout hook. I'm not really a big fan of, uh, like I said, weed guards. Even on my swim jigs, so I'm in open water, I'll rip them out. And uh, like I said, I was doing the same with football jigs. So I'm glad I found these that don't have weed guards. But if you guys are wanting to try some... Uh, Football heads, I definitely recommend the Chompers. And uh, I don't think you can get these at Tackle Warehouse. I always get them at Bass Pro. But you can also go to like a Chomper website and order them off there. So, but that should about do it uh, for the terminal tackle. I also use a uh, Texas Tackle split ring pliers. Really good pliers. But that is about it. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, probably the last video I make before Christmas. So, Merry Christmas to you guys. And uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.